in a position that you're in. You're not a rapper. Anything? Are you a rapper? You look. Yeah. Okay, I'm making sure you looked at me like you was gonna get in the book yeah. or something. But yeah. okay, you're not. You more so on the business end of entertainment and music. You kind of hold a bigger standard. Yeah. yeah than yeah. your average artist. So how do you keep yourself and the people around you? You know. Moving on one accord. This is what I do. I give people opportunity. Um, I just watch their hearts. Like I said, I don't, ain't nothing wrong with if you are a real gangster, but I watch and see who pretend to be a gangster. And I don't want to be around it. So, you know, uh, a lot of niggas, uh, you know, I think they think it's cool to me to come walk around me and be a gangster, but at the heart, they're a good kid. Don't come around me acting like I don't want no more gangsters around. I just like, I like their heart, and I like niggas with hard work. You get an option around me. God put me, God gave me a platform to take somebody and change their lives by them telling me, telling their story on the microphone. So long as you come and tell your story on the microphone, I'm going to do my thing to help you get to the next level. And work hard. Um... Uh, Mo3 still got more songs than any rapper that I ever signed after he died. You said that um, people don't want to be around you. Young men have good hearts, but they're not gangster. Um, being a gangster, you can't have a good heart. You can't be a gangster by the situations you were dealt with. No, 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 no. You, 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 you can be a gangster, but a, a smart gangster, a real gangster, is trying to take themselves out of that situation. And by meeting you, by meeting you, yeah, by me, you mean me, they, I, I, they, they yeah. trying to, they trying to, but then you got niggas who just, you know, man, I ain't no rap, I'm a street nigga, <laughs> you get away from me, <laughs> I'm a street nigga, 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 they spend money on studio time. In studio time, but you not no rapper. I feel like rappers say that because they scared of failure. That they, they mm. scared if they if they don't make it. I, that's I, the, that's I, their excuse. I don't want them niggas. I hate rappers. I hate rappers yeah, that say yeah, that. Yeah, I though. hate. Yeah, I, I don't want them type. Those are niggas who I, I don't want them nigga type of nigga around. Now you go meet a real gangster who done did all this in life and sit there and say, "Hey, I ain't no gangster. No, I ain't no street. Now I'm a rapper." Those are niggas who. Those are niggas who got a mind frame. But then you got the other niggas who sit there and come around me and say, "Bro, I ain't no rapper." Yeah, what thought I just seen you rap? Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. different now though. Like huh? social media, like you, yeah, you spoke about earlier, it's evolving into like a different, a different image. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. honestly, when I was coming up, like Ti, all it, all them rappers, they really were street rappers coming out of it. Now yeah. you, they, they have influenced the good guys mm -hmm. or like the good boys is coming from the suburbs to be this image. Come on, come on, I'm doing an interview. Come on. Come on, come on, yeah. But um, that's used to But uh, now, nah, but now, nah, and I understand. That, and then let me tell you how it is. If I was Gucci man, I want my chains back too. Yeah, cause you see that post. Definitely, you see yeah. That post? yeah. Okay. I I want my chains back. People saying that uh, I don't believe Big Scott was even hot in the last two or three years. And, you know, uh, I believe that he wasn't even working as hard as he was when Gucci gave him that chance. And then he died off a senseless death. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing drugs. When God then gave you an opportunity and took you away from everything you were doing and you still died off using drugs. So, you know, I know that can happen to anybody, but at the end of the day, um, I want my chains back too. Why though? Like why like why take uh, the chains? Uh, because back? then then you get a then you get a you get a you get a niggas up there shooting videos with the chains on and yeah. and then saying yeah. you can't it's, it's nothing it's, it, that, you, do you know that first day after he died after the funeral they try to make this man look like the devil mm -hmm. Gucci didn't pay for the funeral and you sitting there shot a video with his chains on he, he bought mm -hmm. Gucci didn't do this then Gucci show he did that now you got a video came out with the chains on man what type of shit is that you know what I'm saying Gucci gave this man more, a, big, a bigger opportunity than this man daddy can give him you know what I'm saying? His daddy came out and, and stepped. Um, he stepped. Yeah, no, it, no, I understand him. I'm saying his daddy said his daddy couldn't take him and make him worldwide and give him all this shit he gave him. And and and, and he died and and and, and your own partner sit there and say, Gucci, Gucci didn't pay for the funeral. Your sister, ten thousand dollars ain't even enough. What's that? 
He done made my he done made my brother made him out millions. I don't believe he made a millions. Yeah, I don't believe he made him millions. I mean, he, 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 he didn't have a plan. He didn't he, he, he wouldn't go. He don't even got he don't even got a hit song. That ain't one big squad song. Nobody but he had he had a few songs. He had a few like YouTube bangers, like a free song. He had a, a core of fan base. That, but I don't believe he made uh, Gucci Man millions. I don't think he made them himself. Now millions. all them niggas on 10, 10 17 is dumbasses because Gucci got the trenches, the most gangster rappers he can find, and gave them a chance. That's uh, not even rappers. They got he stepped. No, they all happy. They all. Love, they they enjoying life. Snow the wall. Snow the wall wasn't under him. He let him go. He can't. But I'm saying he was once a punk. Yeah, and he let though. him go. He let him go. I ain't even deal with that. Yeah, nah, but I don't think I think Yo, yo got to goes after different type of artists as he should. Yeah. But I'm saying I don't blame Gucci Man. But I'm nah, saying it's I, like every single artist under ten seventeen either they go to jail. But they, but that, but that's it's not like, his fault. He gave them opportunity. Yeah, he did for yeah, sure. Yeah, for name, sure. No, no, see, they listen. Those are grown man. They, 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 why they not with Gucci? You might not. Nah, hell, no. Nah, I ain't gonna say that. That was a grown man. And all them niggas 20, 23 and up. He gave them opportunity. All, all of them. He gave him a bigger opportunity than, than a scholarship at college. Because you instantly could be a millionaire. Now, I agree. The best yeah. thing he could do for any of them yeah. was put him in position. Yeah, put him yeah. in position. So, so I, I I feel him. I need my change back, man. <laughs> The pendant is, I, let's say the pendant for sure. But they were saying Big Scar bought his own 1017 chains. And I, I know Gucci give everybody that, that, that Cuban with the 1017. And what, $10,000? Like, that's the... I, I don't know how much you gave him, but it, it ain't about that. Let one of my artists sign with Gucci. I'm going to tell Gucci, then you ain't got to give us a shit. Well, just off your name, I know what that's going to do. You know what I'm saying? Just off three niggas' name in the game, you're going to be an instant, instant star. Boosie, Yo Gotti, Gucci. And the sound, them three, you signing them three? Yeah, yeah, your, your streams and everything go up. So would you say like the artists up under him? Would you say they lazy? Like, yeah. like what's wrong? They not taking, they not taking advantage of the situation God gave them. Pusheisty fucked up early in his early when he first signed, and he realized, damn, I fucked up. I'm a real star. Yeah, I feel like Pusheisty is a good artist. He working on stuff that he did before he became a star. Yeah. He probably the only one. Yeah. I want to say. Fuji, I don't know. But wasn't that case of uh, Push Ice to call? Like, wasn't that after he was 1017? No, after he was 1017. It, it, it was an early like, stage. Yeah, it was before. It was an early stage. Before he blew Get it up. back in blood and all that went out. Yeah. But that goes back to, like, carefully picking your artists and where they're at. Like, you don't just go out. I feel like. Man, that man, that man walking down the street and or hearing the first thing he'll start, come on, I'm going to give him a chance. Yeah. Well, boom, do you. The, that's, it ain't he, his, that, that's not. You feel like that's a great sign of leadership. Yeah, though. but it ain't his if fault. He he's picking the orders, getting them. That's like people saying people at Empire dying. He giving everybody their chance. You know how I many record label me and Mo Three went to, and they said no for three years, four years. We went straight to him, met that dude, and he signed us right then and there. Now that's a great example though, because a lot of people under Empire. Has been dying like yeah. back to back, back to back. Have, have you have you seen have you seen Empire sign the underdogs? If it's beef, they sign the. I mean, I can mean, say if it's beef, but they always sign the underdogs. Dolph three. Uh, the underdogs in their city. Dolph three. Jack boy. You know what I'm saying? Are you on the conspiracy? Because uh, a lot of people say it's a conspiracy. No, no, it's as conspiracy. far as a lot of they, labels they get, signing for like the, the insurance policy nah, that send people but up it, to do But Empire something. don't do no insurance policy. Nah. You got to sign. Uh, artists got to sign the insurance policy themselves. I understand. I understand. It's yeah. part of the conspiracy. But, but look, like but, but, but let me ask you a question on. though. But I know Empire don't, but then I realize Empire don't. I think I would. Life insurance. If I was a life, if I was a if I was a CEO, I sign, make him sign a life insurance. Cause you gonna yeah. spend, you spend two million dollars on this boy, and he said third, and over those over those two million dollars, you gonna spend two hundred thousand. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like 
we come back to great leadership skills. No, like, no, 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 no. That's not no. <laughs> you can't. You can't coach that. A person you gotta want to. Not put a, yourself in a position to deal no, with. No, 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 no. How, how I'm a coach that I sign you? Hey, bro, where you finna go? I'm finna go hurt to my with my family. The boy got there with his family get killed by his cousin. McMill signed. What's his name? Lil Snoop. Lil Snoop. Lil Snoop went back to his hometown playing the video game where I killed. You can't. What, what's your coach about that? What's the nigga name? Junior, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Marley G. Marley G. Yes. Marley G went back to his hometown and got killed by somebody new. You can't coach that. You you can't coach that. But what you can do is what we spe- when we started that was people, you know, people that's doing, you see them doing drugs, if you see them still entertain the environment that you're trying to take them out of after so long you do have the choice to cut that loose versus continuously putting yourself nah, but you, or but you, risking it I know but how you gonna cut it loose when you got a nigga signed for three hours you can cut that if you if you are the CEO after, you, that, after you, that deal is signed you can re, you don't think it'll renegotiate nah, should be possible nah, cause y'all both agreed on them terms can't cut it loose can't cut it loose you already agreed they can sue you now so now, so now I'm finna lose me is because you saw me because I gave you a chance and you didn't want to step up to the standards. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a matter of them choosing not to. It's a process. Like I said, good artist development. Are you going out to choose the right artist? You just like you say, Gucci just hearing whoever's a star. Yeah, you can hear that, but you need to see also what type of lifestyle they live in to see if this is just the phase or you know you you understand where I'm coming from. No. Mm-hmm. I really just feel like in in rap, there's no there's no basic training. Like in life, in, in whatever job you have, you gotta go through training. Like and, and it trains you to be prepared for what you're about to sign up for. Like with rap, people just jump in it and just and free and just do whatever they whatever they please. Yeah. Like I agree with you. Like it is the artist's fault, but I don't. I just feel like somebody else has to take like a part of a a part of the blame. Like if I sign an artist right and all my artists. Die. It's like it's. I'm not doing something right. No, no. But you give you. you, you but I'm not. I'm not saying the artists. Like yes, yeah, they 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 are responsible. But I don't. I just feel like it's somebody else to take a, like a part of the blame. Like not. It ain't nobody. Nobody's putting a gun to these artists' head and making them doing doing what they do. They're yeah. they're entitled to their own actions. They're doing what they want to do. So they're all to blame. But I just feel like not a hundred percent. Like maybe uh eighty five. Like Empire. Like. Of course, he's not setting these artists up to die. Of course not. But like all these artists dying up under him, it's like like what like what could he done? What could he do to prevent it? Nothing. You can't prevent nobody from a grown man. Okay, you can influence. You can influence, but you can't prevent no grown man to do what he want to do. You God got to do this. 